practice prepper. Wee! You always gotta brush these panels off whenever there's snow, otherwise they just, they don't function at all. That's why I leave these guys down low. Uh, I wanted to do this video this morning while the storm's still coming in. It's Sunday morning right now. Uh, and I wanted to thank everybody that watched and especially responded to the video that I did yesterday about that Gillette ad. Uh, my feelings all in there were just my real honest feelings. Uh, you know, I was straightforward with you guys about you know my reaction to it. And so many people were straightforward with me about sharing, you know, why some of that stuff bothered them. And I still, I still feel the same way. I, I still don't view the ad as being really offensive to me personally. But in hearing other people's thoughts on it, I can kind of get what a lot of people were feeling. And uh, I think the, the two main thrusts that I heard were that people felt that the ad was kind of targeting all guys, and they kind of felt like, well, I'm not a dick. Why, why is this ad kind of preaching to me about, like, you know, that you know, I should stop being a dick? And, like, I don't have any of these problems. Um, the other one was some people felt that it was really being uh, targeting of white guys. I... I really didn't see that. I mean, because there was there were white guys or black guys. I, yeah, I saw at least a couple of Hispanic guys. I, I I I I really don't know about that one. It seemed like it was. I mean, I used to work in marketing, and everybody's really particular about like, well, we need one white guy, we need one black guy, we need one Asian guy. I mean, that's like a big thing, and I, it seemed like that was going on in the ad where they tried to just have like a broad sweep of people. Um, but uh, those were kind of the big things, and uh, you know. When people were first started reacting and letting me know, I like I kind of wasn't getting it. Uh, but as more and more people share with me their feelings, I started to kind of, kind of develop a sense of why I think there's this this schism between the way a lot of you guys interpreted the ad and the way that I interpreted the ad. And a lot of people were saying, you know, I think practice you're just being naive, and I think to some degree, you know, I, I wouldn't use the word naive, but I, I think to some degree that is kind of possibly what's going on. Because there are things that you guys are exposed to, not all of you, but you know, you know you, well, when I say what it is, you'll know who you are. Uh, there are things that you know, many of you guys are exposed to that I'm not. And one of those things is just the constant bombardment of mass media. I don't watch television ever. I barely have time for any YouTube videos. I try to like check out you know, some of my favorites you know, now and again. Uh, I have done so many videos about like, you know, don't waste your time you know, <laughs> you know, watching like fluff YouTube videos, you know, just go for the meat and everything. And that's something that I do. I just, I don't marinate myself in mass media, mass culture, 24 seven. And I think what I was hearing from a lot of people is that for people who have been just inundated and constantly assaulted by mass media, I guess there are a lot of messages out there that, you know, might be more nasty uh, towards guys in general and maybe the you know this Gillette ad wasn't a particularly nasty version of it But it's kind of like you know you're driving and like you know your kids kicking the back of your seat It's like you can take it for the first two or three hours But then there's like just one last kick and you're like, okay, you need to stop and maybe that last kick wasn't even a particularly big one But it's just like you've been you know just besieged by this on and on and on and it's, well, it's like the last straw kind of thing. And I, I wonder if to some degree it was that kind of um, reaction going on, where just people are just inundated with this, and then, you know, there's this thing that come along, and they're like, ah, enough, I, I'm not a dick. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I don't know what the solution to that is, other than to suggest, you know, m maybe like me, just stop caring about it. Honestly, it's like, mass media can tell me whatever they want about me. I'm a white guy. I, you know, I hear that they hate me. But honestly, I just couldn't care less. I'm out here, I'm in the woods, I'm doing my own thing, and I don't know, whatever, who cares? You know, it, maybe it, it comes from my upbringing. I've never really been, you know, I've never really felt that I've been part of that, like, in-group. I've always kind of been an outsider, even, you know, when I was growing up, I was in, like, the art class at school and everything, and, you know, I've always kind of been on the fringe, and it's never really... Well, you know, I won't say never, you know, when you're a kid, that kind of stuff bothers you. But, you know, I've grown up, you know, not developing a sense of, you know, not really caring if everybody loves me. I mean, hosting a YouTube channel, you, you find out there's plenty of people that really don't like you. <laughs> and you got to just be okay with that. And it's like, and who really does care? You know, people can say whatever they want about me, whatever they want about you. You and I know the truth about ourselves. And, you know, as long as we're acting in a way that we feel is mature, appropriate, respectful, and all of that, honest to God, who the F cares what people are saying about you, what people are saying about me? You know, if we're doing the right thing, 
it really doesn't matter. So that's my feeling on it, if there's any kind of a solution to it. And, um, you know, but beyond that, I just want to thank everyone for sharing your feelings because uh, I did learn a lot. There, were, there was a lot of stuff that I just was not getting, and, and it was really great to hear from you guys. Uh, one of the reasons I want to shoot this video outside is because uh, later on I'm going to be uh, recording a video. I don't know how quickly I'll be able to bring it to you guys. I think I'm going to do it in that new VR360 camera that I'm, I'm using for the Devil's Countdown series. Uh, you know, I think that'll be a neat application of it, but we have not had hardly any snow in this area. You know, I, I'm up in New England, and we, this whole year, I know the rest of the country, the U.S., has been like, you know, hammered with, with storms. I see them on the news all the time. We've been totally insulated up here, uh, but, uh, well, you know, not all, not all of New England is the same. My particular area, we've been very insulated, but, you know, we've got several inches here, and my driveway is like an Literally, it is an eighth of a mile long here at Normal House. And I shoveled that once and it was just very time consuming. So uh, uh, I was able to borrow a tractor, which is right here under, under the snow. Can I even get a shot of it? Yeah. Uh, I was able to borrow this tractor um, and you know they said I could use it for plowing pretty much. And, uh, you know, I got a little primer on how to use this thing, and I'm going to use it for the first time today. I'm going to record it. So if anyone wants a good laugh to see someone that, like, doesn't necessarily know what they're doing, but they're going to try their best, and, uh, you know, you guys know me. I have a can-do attitude. If I don't get it right the first time, which I won't, I'll try and try again until I get better and better. But if you want to laugh seeing someone learn how to use a John Deere tractor for the first time to plow snow without even a real plow blade on the front. This is just that shovel. The 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 plow blade um, that you know I was going to borrow was frozen to the ground. <laughs> so uh, you know that's not going to be prepared until the spring to, for borrowing. So I'm going to do the best I can with this scoop. But uh, yeah, anyway, if you want to see that, I'll record that video today, and maybe it'll even be up by the end of the day today. So that's it. Thank you guys all for watching. Thank you for participating on that Gillette thing. I really appreciate it. I learned a lot, and um, uh, you know, I just appreciate everyone taking the time to really share your real feelings about that. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later with this calamity waiting to happen. <laughs> Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.